Architectural historian Jen Massengarb is in Minneapolis, seeing for herself how an innovation in the baking industry is influencing building construction around the world. In the 1880s, Minneapolis was known as the flower capital of the world. Raw grain was brought here from across the northern prairie, processed here, and then shipped across the country and around the world. Flour production in the 19th century was dangerous business. Dry millstones could ignite flour dust, causing catastrophic explosions inside wooden silos. In 1878, the Washburn A, one of the largest mills in the city, exploded, killing 18. Grain merchants were facing a storage problem, so clearly a new solution was needed. Their answer came from engineer Charles Haglin and grain trader Frank Peavy. Together, they designed a safer, stronger silo. So this is what they constructed, the world's first reinforced concrete grain silo. The technique that Haglin developed for this cylindrical shape was absolutely revolutionary for its time. Haglin built a wooden cylindrical mold and filled it with concrete. Once the concrete set, the mold was removed and placed on top of the first section. Haglin repeated this process until he reached his desired height. Many of Haglin's peers didn't think that concrete could hold grain. So Haglin's experimental tower was filled and tested. So PV and Haglin's experiment worked. They had solved the grain storage problem and they could take what they learned here and use it all over the state. 